Hi and welcome back to Wobbly Cogs Workshop. Today I'm going to improve my inlay cutter and make a simple handle for it. In a previous video I made a simple inlay cutter from a section of bandsaw blade. It worked well enough but it had a tendency to catch in long grain. Through experimenting with how I held the cutter I realised that the problem was with the rake angle. Ideally I wanted a cutter that had zero or perhaps even a negative rake so it scraped the fibres away. Looking at the bandsaw blade I realised that the existing teeth have the perfect geometry so I decided to reuse them. The problem with the existing teeth though is they have a non-zero set which would make them hard to use as a hand tool. To remove the set I placed the bandsaw blade on a scrap of metal and slowly hammered the teeth flat. Since the teeth are hard and this caused some of them to break off but it's ok I only needed one. To completely remove any set on the teeth I sanded my new cutter flat using some 240 grit wet and dry paper. At the end of this process the cutter was measuring about 0.9mm which is fine for what I want it for. Since this is a retired bandsaw blade I decided to sharpen the tooth I was working with. I also provided some relief on the front edge to make the cutter easier to work with and rounded over the edges to prevent accidents. I decided to mount the cutter using a single M5 bolt which meant drilling a hole through it. Let's just say it could have gone better. Now I had a cutter it was time for a handle. As this is still an experiment I went with the scrap of oak I had lying around. I drilled a 5mm hole through it and then cut a section off the back because my bolt wasn't long enough. A wing nut locks the cutter in place. With the cutter now firmly attached to my makeshift handle I ran a test cut. I went straight for a full length long grain cut. This cutter was a little narrower than my first attempt so I had to test the depth using a scrap of veneer. As I wanted the edge to remain sharp I decided to harden it by heating and then quenching the cutter. Since I used an existing tooth this step probably wasn't necessary but it certainly couldn't hurt and the file test afterwards showed the tooth to be fully hardened. It occurred to me after hardening that this steel may well harden in air, it certainly hardened in water. 